Okay, in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to use some of the basic um, tools within Xactimate. We're using X1 and how you use this to create your floor plan. So we'll start with our room, our basic room, and then you see the shortcut here that's an R. So we're going to just use our shortcut key of an R to grab a new room. And we're going to pop that in. And the default measurements are 12 by 12. So we're going to use our handles to drag to the depth that we need to for the room. Let's say we have a 20 by 20 room. So we're going to either drag this to 20 on both sides or I'm just backing up. We can activate the handle. All I did was click one time with my left mouse key and it activates this wall here. You see the arrows pointing to this wall. So we can just change the measurement here on the inside wall to 20. I'm going to activate this wall. Same thing happens, 20. So that's how you create a room, okay? And let's say we have a couple of rooms adjacent to that and we want to add a new room in. There's two things you can do. You can either add the room directly from this option, which is just using your shortcut R, pops a new room in, and then you can change the measurement to whatever you need to be. Okay. Or you can use uh, what we call the break tool and the shortcut is the square break is the B here. So we use the B for break, break it where we need to break it. And then holding down our control button, we use, you see how the handles here and the wall's been broken into two, right? Now we have two handles instead of just the one. Holding down our control key, we're going to hold down and drag with our left mouse just the area that we want to expand. Change our measurements the same way. Now for this, unless we want to break this new area into two rooms, we can just go to this control. So I go to this handle, hit the control button and drag that out and we accomplish the same thing. Now we have our different rooms. Of course, you can label the room with whatever you like label, living room. Who knows what these are? Depends on the floor plan and for wherever you go. But now we have our basic floor plan layout and um, you're able to get started with your, assuming these measurements are correct, you're able to get started with writing your estimate. Happy sketching.